All right, Baki, obviously not a, not a game you want to lose like that, but how are your legs feeling? How are you coming along? Yeah, you never want to lose by this many goals at home. You don't want to lose at home to begin with, and by this margin. It's just, it's tough, but uh, legs are feeling all right. And they're a little heavy, obviously. You know, I haven't played for so long. You know, playing two games back-to-back and three days in between has been tough, you know, but... You know, I'm just very happy to be back on the field and doing, you know, what I love doing, which is play competitive games, you know. Was there an injury or did you come off for a tactical reason? Yeah, tactical reasons, I'm, I'm assuming. No injuries. It's, you know, your team has gone down by, we're down two goals, you know, you're playing at home, you know, you want to bring fresher legs and bring guys that can actually go and, and go forward. It was, it's, it, that was a good tactical move. It was a smart move. That, that's how you do it. You, know, you go down two goals, you take a defender out, and you just, you know, just throw it all out there, you know. Talk about playing with Moby Kugo. What's it like next to him, and, and how do you feel you can you can help him raise his game? I love Moby. Moby's a fantastic player. I think he's a complete. He's a very very good player. He's uh, playing alongside him is fun. It's fun more than anything. You know, I love playing against next to a guy that competes like a Moby. It's it's very good. You know, he makes the game very easy for me. And all around, he's, he's very good. You, I just try to help him communicating, make sure he keeps his cool, and make sure. You know, we stay connected, you know, and, and I think we've, as a unit, we've, we've done okay, you know, until the second half when the game stretched a little bit where it was, it was a little tougher. But tell you what, Moby's is, he's going to be a very, very good player. He's already a good player, but he's going to be, I'm going to be shocked to see him in the national team in the next few years because I, I rate him really, really high. So talk about for you personally getting the first game back in Chicago you got another one you've obviously been playing for a long time but did that add extra butterflies to getting out on the field yeah I mean it'll be a lie you say that playing in Chicago doesn't you don't have a bittersweet feeling because it's it's a club that I know very well it's a club where I've excelled I've had a lot of success I'm very familiar with a lot of faces there it's a coach that I know very well and is a very dear friend of mine um and for me, it's home. So playing in front of, at home, you know, against your former team is always, it's always, it feels a little strange, you know. But when the game starts, you put that aside, you know, and you just go out there and try to get the point, help your teammates and the team, you know. It was good coming away with three points, especially in your first game, you know. I love getting shutouts, you know. I love, it's just great, you know, it feels great, you know, being able to go on the road, get three points and not getting scored on, you know. So I really enjoyed that. If you get another run out this weekend, what do you do to, to slow down Niarco? <laughs> Patrick is a very, very difficult player to play against. You know, he's very, it, it, <laughs> he's very difficult to defend. He's, he runs behind you. He, he's very technical. He's very crafty. So you, you try to contain him as best as you can. But there's, there's no, there's no perfect solution for him. You just hope that, you know, he gets tangled up and loses the ball. He's just, he's a very difficult player to play against. And. Um, we're just going to try to play hard, play very hard against him, you know, make the game difficult for him, you know, make him drift out wide, just just keep him as far as from, from our goal as possible. Well, good luck doing that. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, it, was, it felt very natural um, for me. I was really content to start the game, and, uh, an important game at that. I tried to give him the best for the team. I tried Fazer o que o treinador pediu. I tried to give my best to the team and I laid it on the field. Mas uh, a equipe, a outra equipe tem uma qualidade muito grande com outros jogadores que ficou difícil. And the Galaxy have a lot of really quality players and so that made it difficult to go up against that quality. Can you ask him about the, uh, the weight it, had, it has taken him to finally get his first start now that he's gotten how he feels about that? Uh, Esperando para esperar para comenzar en la once uh, hasta como tres uh, semanas comenzar sí. qué te sientes sí, ahorita eh, eh, yo dejé bien claro cuando vieste para acá que quería jugar claro que todo jugador quiere estar siempre comenzando el partido mas eh, tengo que entender que estoy llegando ahora en el equipo Eh, futebol americano é diferente, então estou treinando, trabalhando. Okay, um, yeah, I was looking forward to getting my first start and coming here, adjusting to the American game and waiting on the bench, um, kind of observing it as the past few weeks, 
and so to get my first start tonight was a big deal to me, very important. Lo importante es pasar la confianza del entrenador para que pueda contar conmigo siempre. And so I'm glad that John Hackworth had the confidence in me, um, and I want to reward him for that confidence. Thank you. Ray Gaddis, track meet against Landon Donovan. What was it like to go up against him one-on-one? -on -one? You know, it was all right. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a great player, uh, and coming up, you always seeing what Landon and Donovan can do, and uh, he's pretty good, and... and uh, you could tell he's very poised and very wise. So how was the chemistry with Keon? It looked like there were some, some missed assignments and you were getting bombarded a bit on that left. Uh, I mean, it, it really just shows the quality of LA Galaxy, uh, you know, just passing and movement, uh, moving. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, uh, as the game went on, uh, we, we lost our legs a little bit, but uh, it was all right. So what do you do to get your legs back for Saturday? Uh, definitely uh, take the preparation, sleep right, eat right. Um, definitely uh, stay off your feet and just try to get back and, and get ready. Chicago, uh, who's an Eastern Conference uh, opponent, and we need to win this game. So you stole one from them. You know they had the run of that game, but you guys got the got the points. Do you feel like you know them better? You feel like you can put out a better result on Saturday? Uh, I do. Uh, we have to take our preparations uh, very seriously in recovery, and uh, I mean, uh, to, to win a series in the Eastern Conference, uh, I mean, that's one of our objectives, and uh, we need to win this game. Best of luck. Thank you. Cool. All right, Moby Akugo, we'll start with the good. The, the kneel down flick headed goal, talk about that. Have you ever done that in training? Uh, no, uh, the field's not wet enough at training, so it was a good goal. Uh, Shane put on a platter. I'm happy to help the team. Unfortunately, we didn't win. Obviously, things got open up. What happened? You know, what, what caused the game to get so stretched that they came running right at you in the second half? Uh, no, just, uh, I feel like we didn't have enough pressure um, on certain guys, whether it was uh, in the back or in the midfield. And um, it was tough dealing with you know, the guys staying in the pockets underneath and making the late runs. And we just have to stay, do a better job of staying compact and trying to keep the ball. How do you think Baki's playing? How does it feel to play next to him? It's good. He's a great player with a lot of experience. You know, he did a great job. And um, hopefully we can see more of him. So, quick week. You going back at it after a game like this. How do you get your head? Obviously, your body, you got to take care of it. How do you get your head over this one quick enough to, to go get three more points against Chicago? Well, yeah, luckily we have a, a quick turnaround, and Chicago's going to try to come here and get some points because we stole points there last week. Um, just back to the drawing board, you know, try to forget about this game, but learn from it. And then it's always tough playing a team in quick succession, but hopefully we can get three points. Looked like you had that rush of blood in the head uh, at the end of the game, went after Keane for a good shot, got a yellow card. What words were exchanged there? Uh, no words, you know, I just got to let them know I'm there. They're passing uh, on our field at home, you know, and trying to embarrass us. You just got to let them know you're there. Well, good luck in Chicago. Thank you. All right, Shane, in back from a league-enforced uh, match-off. How, how are you feeling out there? Uh, good. Uh, it was good to get back out there. It's never fun to, to watch a game from... Uh, from the couch, so uh, happy to be back out there with the guys. What do you feel like something cracked open in that second half when it all came at you? What do you think happened? Uh, you know, I think we just uh, we gave them a chance and they and they finished us off. I thought, you know, we had opportunities to go up 2-1, and after that, you know, we, we had to throw numbers forward, and on the third goal, we, we had give up a bad turnover, and, and after that, you know, obviously we got to throw the house at them to, to try to get back two goals. So, uh, you know, I don't put that much stock into it. Uh, we lost the game. Uh, we got another one on Saturday. Are people going to ever wise up to your throw-ins? <laughs> Probably not. Um, they're hard to deal with. Uh, you know, there's so many people running, and there's so many, so many instances where you know somebody thinks you know he's got it. No, I got it. So uh, you know, I'm sure we'll get a few more looks at it this year. So emotionally, how do you get over this on the on the short term, knowing you have to play a, a big game in Chicago and Seattle uh, on Saturday? You just forget about it. Um, it's one game in a 30, what, eight game season. So uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. It's it's a bad loss. You know, we know that we have to do better. We have a chance to, to redeem ourselves on Saturday here uh, again. So, you know, we're just looking to get the win and move on. Best of luck getting back. Thank you.